Hi, and welcome to Hope with Answers. My name is Montessa Lee. Joined alongside of me is Dr. Vincent Lamb. Can I call you Vincent? Of course, please do. Good to see you, Montessa. Oh, it's great to see you. And today we're going to be talking about a hot button issue, chemotherapy. So let's start off with defining it. Vincent, can you tell us exactly what chemotherapy is? Yes, chemotherapy is an umbrella term that's broadly used to describe many of the drugs that we use to treat cancer. Um, specifically, it's often, it often refers to the group of drugs that kill cancer by interfering with um, cells' ability to replicate or multiply. Uh, an important aspect of chemotherapy is that it kills both good cells and bad cells, but really mostly the bad cells because those are the faster growing cells. Wow. And, and, you know, even in the news or when you watch movies, we hear about so many negative side effects that can come from chemotherapy. Can you tell us what some patients might um, face with those side effects? Yeah, the side effects, to some extent, depends on the type or group of chemotherapy that a patient is receiving. Um, but commonly, uh, chemotherapy often um, uh, has side effects such as low blood counts, uh, hair loss, nausea, of course, is one that people are very familiar with, and, and, and fatigue is a very common side effect of chemotherapy. And chemotherapy um, can be administered in, in several different ways, correct? Yes, it's, it's, it's most commonly given by IV infusion, but it can also be infused in other ways and can also be um, taken as a pill. That's awesome. You know, I, I remember I had an IV infusion for my treatment when I had chemotherapy, and I had many of those symptoms you talked about, hair loss, extreme fatigue that I cannot even describe today. Um, that fatigue, the level of fatigue was amazing, and nausea. And I had, um, it would be amazing probably if I could take a pill, but, you know, all of these negative side effects, why do we still use chemotherapy? Does, does it, the benefits outweigh the bad? Yeah, that's a really, that's a fair question. I mean, we're in the era now of personalized medicine where we have other treatment options available for our patients, including targeted therapy and immunotherapy. So it's really fair to ask why we still use chemotherapy. Well, the answer is uh, chemotherapy still maintains an important role in, in our treatment of cancer because it kills cancer cells re relatively quickly. Um, and with relatively predictable side effects. So in fact, we actually often use it in conjunction with targeted therapy and immunotherapy to help make those treatments work better. Well, wow, this is awesome news. And thank you for this information. It's just been a wonderful conversation. So thank you, Dr. Lamb, and thank you for joining us on Hope With Answers.